quick update, I literally found this out right before I released the video. You can actually get the Platinum Monocle for yourself. All you have to do is send Nelson Sexton a letter in the mail containing your Steam ID, um, and that's all you have to do. Don't send him cash. Guys, this building update is absolutely insane. If you end up enjoying this video, please click that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Hey guys, how's it going? It's the jurors here. So man, there is a big update that just came out, and part of the update is this monocle that I'm wearing right here. This is the platinum monocle. Um, it kind of shimmers every so often, makes you feel upper crust as heck. <laughs> uh, the way I got this thing is kind of unusual. I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago, we sent Nelson $10 cash in an envelope in response to his uh, April Fool's joke. And in that April Fool's joke, he kind of said, okay, look, there's a platinum upgrade that's coming out. Um, talked a little bit about it, made some goofy jokes, and then pretty much said, okay, it doesn't actually exist. He said that later on, but we sent $10 cash in the mail with a handwritten note saying we wanted the platinum upgrade. Um, and he gave us a monocle. <laughs> and if you read the platinum monocles, uh, information, it says, this is a one-time joke item. Please do not take it too seriously. And so I do not think that if you sent him $10 now, he would still send you the monocle or give you the monocle item. I don't think that's a thing. So probably don't do it. And if you do do it, don't expect him to give you the monocle. I, I don't know. Anyway, let's get into the other big news of this update. What is it? Okay, so it allows you to quickly place items without waiting for animations and pick them back up much faster. Crafted from a GPS and a range finder or found on construction sites. Man, that is cool. Guys, this update is the first step towards better base building. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Building downward, claim flags automatically covering the entire connect connected house, replacing the crafting system and more. So freaking exciting, guys. We, we have needed something new in base building and it sounds like it's coming and it's already starting with the housing planner. Let's go play with it. Okay, you hold down T to get the menu up and you can select what you want. Boom, oh my goodness. We are freaking making things so quickly. Oh, there we go. Holy crap, this feels like The Sims or something. This is freaking sweet. Oh my God, you can build so quickly. This is awesome. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Another thing to note is that you now only need two pillars to put a roof up. So you used to need four. So I guess you only need two now, which is pretty sweet. Brick building material is temporarily buffed from 800 to 1650. Um, or 1650 HP. Don't know why they did that. Okay, here's an anomaly that I don't think is supposed to be in the game. But it seems like we can place ramps off of foundations at weird angles. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what this does for us, but it's interesting. Okay, and if we have a ramp down there, we can build another ramp here. I don't know why. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we can go up the side too. <laughs> okay, let's see if we put another ramp up here. And now I think we can put a foundation. Oops. I think we can put a foundation built off this thing, maybe. So we can sure for sure put it built off there. Okay, this is showing as blocked, but we can put foundations off of the side of these now. See if you're trying to make like a cool, I don't know, speedway or something. That could be cool. Okay, so I cannot wait to see what the next thing that Nelson does for building is, but this is a substantial improvement. I think it's freaking sweet, and that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.